Hello, I'm Sarah Scott. It was my stroke anniversary last weekend. Um, I had my stroke eight years ago. Um, so this is a video talking about uh, like a year of what I'm doing now. Um, I did a live video last weekend, um, I don't know if you've seen it, um, so I think this, uh, one is going to be maybe quick, I think, um, I did, uh, kind of like, a kind of like, if there's any questions or any tips on Facebook and Twitter saying, and I think there's one person, um, who kind of wanted to know about tips to do with recovering and then there was another one to do with self self care self -care. yeah um so the first thing to do with recovery um i guess is maybe what what I've been doing is I was doing speech therapy for a, a long time I think um and and that obviously was good for me and I didn't was not driving um and I actually went back to Waitrose and then was some quite like uh questions that I needed to say at Waitrose and they helped me a lot and obviously with driving but then it obviously it stopped because I'm sure you know that um, speech therapy is not forever um, which was scary um, and I've done um, intensive speech speech I oh, know no um Intensive, intensive speech. speech therapy mm -hmm. um, in Florida and that was not free um, but it was good and people it, helped you it, 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 it was really good and it really helped me a lot but I think right now I'm not doing anything I'm not doing speech therapy um, just and I think just going out and talking to strangers is really really scary and I think um but the best thing is to actually figure out that you can do it um and if you need to practice like you know if you've got a friend or a family or a carer to help you um you can actually do it you just need to practice which is the hard thing is to practice a lot and sometimes you're, you're tired which I still have tired days that I feel and if I'm working and then doing something after or at the weekend if I'm like doing a lot um I'm very tired but I know now that I need to stop or the next day is going to be like maybe a quiet day um and you were saying how important support groups were to you when you were recovering. That that was that was, um, so the other question was to do with <laughs> the the other question was to do with helping your kind of yourself, and for me it was to do with actually talking to other people. So when I just had my stroke and my speech was really really bad, I guess. Um, we went to connect in London and there was other people that have had aphasia and they had it like, you know, five years or more than that. And their speech was still, it was still difficult. Um, which first of all, I was like, ah, well, that's good because first of all, you think you're just on your own. And then you figure out that there's other people that are like you. 
But then you're kind of scared because you're thinking, that's a long time. But every person is going to be different. You, you don't maybe not realise that now, but... Um, and then I really liked it because if there's any problems, if you're not sure, um, there's other people that have, oh, I know, you should try that. And then we did our group, um, which was maybe younger people that have aphasia. And the best thing is to actually just to talk to other people about problems or questions. Um, I really liked, and the same with this video, um, that I feel when I had my stroke, I was kind of lost. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life now because I was going to go to uni. I couldn't read, write, I couldn't say anything. Um, my life was changed so much and I didn't know. I didn't do much. And then we did little things every day. And then, um, and when you just had something like that, you're scared and you don't know what to do. But I figure out that I'm the same person and I have challenges every day and that I've got places and um, things to help me. Um, I still have problems, like I couldn't read write very well, I still have numbers that I can't say or, um, but I've ways to help me um and in the live video um i said that you know i didn't drive i can now um i was not having a like um a job that was full time i am now i didn't have a house i am i've got a a um, boyfriend. I've done a lot, but there's still there's still other things that I need to have. I, I I still need to have some goals, and I think one of the things is to do with um reading because I really like to read. So that was I think what I'm gonna do, and obviously numbers, but it's good to have goals. There's always good if you've got something to Dream for. instead of just thinking I've done everything Meh. Um, and in the beginning um, one of your goals was saying your name so you've come a very long way since then and anybody that's watching this who's recently got aphasia or somebody that they love has got aphasia it's, it's important to know that you, know, you can improve yeah we um went to a stroke um, conference um, not long ago and that was really really so interesting and there was a lot of people that have aphasia so it was really nice to see and you not really scared because there was a lot of people who had the same problems um, we did a talk um, and I did the talk because I did this video. So I've done a lot because of something that was not my fault, I had a stroke and and also my mum did, has a, um, an award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your award. <laughs> I've been awarded the Robin Tavistock Award. But, uh, no, 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 I haven't got any this one. But, oh, that's getting edited out. That's Sarah, you've spoiled it all now. Come on. Anyway, I've been given an award for helping people with aphasia because of our, well, because of Sarah and because of our stroke support group. So um, I'm really proud of that because it's the first time they've given it to an ordinary person rather than a, um, a professional. So it's a really good thing. But 
we really like doing the videos and like sort of running the support group and and giving something back. Yeah. yeah. And actually carers are actually maybe the hardest. They are the they help you so much and I think people don't realise that they've got a lot they're what's the word like they they do a lot oh, to been, help us. It's been painful. I mean it's been painful for you but I think it's painful for us as well. So but, Yeah. You know things are better now. Is there anything else that you think is uh we did should we just you said you were going to keep it short so i know <laughs> I, <think laughs> I always say it's going to be short and it's not um so if anyone has any questions yes if there's any more questions please you know contact us because we would like to talk to you and maybe do and it on the facebook live sometime yes because um yeah um it's still new. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.